Slaves built the pyramids. Slaves built the Parthenon. Slaves built America. Slaves, this is your song. Thank you. Slaves. Thank you. Slaves. Thank you. Slaves. Slaves, this is your song. Thank you. I salam alaikum first of all I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh Basham Yahushai Basham Raha Kodash I like to give double honors to the pots and elders of Great Millstone. I like to say shalom to the elect that's teaching the word in our true faith and sincerity. And yeah, today I just want to get into a lesson on you know the so-called white man always have been and will be your enemy, man. You know, it's not like this man can be rehabilitated, man. It wasn't like the civil rights movement got to him and said, you know, had it made him consider his ways, man. No, actually, this nigga actually ain't gotten worse, man. You know, matter of fact, let's get this in the book of um, Ecclesiastes 12 and verse 10. And it reads, never trust thine enemy. See? So it said, never trust thine enemy, meaning what? At any time, for any reason, under any circumstance. Don't trust this nigga. You know? Because look at the results of trusting in the so-called white man, which are the biblical Edomites. What happens? You always die, man. You know? So never trust this man. It says, for like as I am rustled, so is his wickedness. See, so as you can see, as iron rusts, so his wickedness. So meaning what? Iron uh, rusting. That rusting is a process. As as when time goes on, it gets worse and worse. So actually, this nigga back then in the fifties has nothing compared to what uh, this nigga is now. He's actually and gotten worse, man. See, at least back then, you know, they are blatantly show you and let you know that you uh they hate you. You know, it it was it was made known where you know these devils were able to come into your house and drag you out your homes, you know, hang you, beat your ass in the middle of the street, you know, and shit, you know, these cops and everything was on I mean, you know, it was blatant, man. But now that hatred is now being shown by the fools you you got fagos in the hood. You got funyuns. The diet, you know, the air, which that's throughout the world, but even the culture, man, gave you black culture, BT. You know, this nigga actually paid, well, pay a nigga a hundred million, a couple million dollars to rap about adultery and sell dope to keep Jake down, man. That's real hatred, man. So now it is gotten worse. This nigga, like I said, this nigga actually pay another, uh, another Jake. To act stupid and dumb and push forth death so other Jays can follow it, man. That's real hatred right now. You know? So at, at this time, this nigga is worse now, man. Well, I said, as, as Aaron Russell saw, it's his wickedness, man. This says, though he humble himself and go crouching. And yeah, because it was a point in time where the Lord called the dogs back. You know, where you actually had, uh, like I said, after that civil rights movement, you had like hippies and shit, that hippie movement. You know, then it got to a point where you actually seeing on TV uh, Jakes and Edomites holding a damn NBA championship up together and shit. He thought this man was at peace with you now. He thought he was at ease. You know, even now you got this, today, these Edomites, they got that Edomite smile, that, that smirk. You know, that famous Edomite smile, man. That's a form of him humbling himself and going crouching, man. It said, yet yeah, take good heed and beware of him. See? So, because guess what? He even really crouching. He's really getting ready to pounce, man. Matter of fact, let's get something real quick. Because it can it can proceed to be a crouch, but it's really the lion getting his uh, pouncing stance. You know? That's why you, you don't pull the trust this devil, man. And anything that he's trying to present to you for relief. Or any type of help, 
because ultimately it's a it's a sinister it's a sinister plan behind everything that this nigga do, man. So this is on um, Psalms ten and verse. Yeah, this is the book of Psalms ten, and I start at. I start at uh, eight. It said he sitteth in the lurking places of the villages. See. So, I mean, what, what a village is, the lowlands, pretty much where our people dwell at, man. This is, this is, this is the hunting stage of the so-called white man. This is, this, is, this is where he liked to hunt at, where our people dwell, man. You know, that's why you deal with these police shootings or any type of thing where Jake is, is, uh, is, is, is some type of class dealing with the police. It's always in the hood somewhere, man, because that's Esau's hunting ground. It says, in the secret places doth he murder the infant. That's these secret means. His eyes are privily set against the poor. See? Because that's who this nigga, that's, that's, uh, they like said, the arch enemy, man. Jacob versus Esau. That's the, that's the, that's the uh, matchup right there, man. You know, the one against another, man. It says, he live and wait secretly as a lion in his den. See? He live and wait to catch the poor. He doth catch the poor when he draw him into his net. See? So, this, this, you see, this nigga is a hunter, man. And, you know, uh, and the scripture said that the Lord is not going to give us uh, as a prey to his teeth, man. So, as you can see, this nigga is, uh, he's, uh, he's coming against the poor and needed, man. He got all this power, money, and resources, but he's coming against someone, uh, against the poor, the needy. We don't even have a standing army. This nigga money is on the face, but he's coming after us, man. Why? Because that's that old hatred from way back then. See, Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing, man. You know? And it's, and it's now being made more and more manifest. That, that old hatred spirit is coming right back out once again, man. You know, it says, um, he crouches and humbles himself that the poor may fall by his strong ones. See, so as you can see, he crouches and humbles himself that the poor may fall by his strong ones. See, so the, the lion look like he it perceived that he's crouching, it's, it perceives that he's humbling himself, not knowing that he's about to pounce, man. You know, so you got to take good heed to so called white man because you know. <clears throat> You got to look at this man and his track record. Nothing but bloodshed and murder, man. Lies and robbery, man. You know, that's what the history of the Edomites are filled with. You know, that's why, that why he, that song right there, Slaves, built, uh, he's a slave, built the uh, shit in wrong. Then he said that then the slaves built America. How did he do that? How, how did you get the slaves? You got them violently, man. You know, it was through the self and ultimately became violent, man. You know, so that's why you don't pose trust this nigga, man. And as you just going, just going back to that clip, that's what that nigga think about you. Only thing he could tell you is thank you. That's the best he can do is tell you thank you, man. So this back on uh, Surat 12 and 11, it said, though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. See? Don't sleep on this devil. Don't just think everything cool because he gave you a stimulus check. Don't just think everything cool because this came through this time. Or he he let you, he gave you a few more days to pay off a bill. Don't don't sleep on this nigga, man, because no, he still is your he still your enemy. It says, and thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast like the wood like the wood looking glass. See, and thou shalt know that his rust have not been all together wiped away, see? So as you can see, that looking glass, you're looking at things through a different perspective, man. You're aware now. It ain't like you just saying, yeah, everybody, not, it ain't like you got, you know, because you got certain people at the point, it's good people and, and bad people in every nation. No, man, the scripture said there is none that do it good, no, not one, concerning the nation of Edom, man. You know, the so-called white man. But when you look at this thing, uh, the, and through the through the true light, you're gonna see that this is the same nigga, man. That his brother hasn't been all together wiped away. That he can never be rehabilitated, man.
you know, that he will always be your enemy, man. So let's get that. Matter of fact, this is the book of Proverbs 30 and verse 12. It says, there's a generation that are pure in their own eyes. See? And that's concerning the self-proclaimed so-called white man, you know, because he wasn't given that name. He put that name upon himself. I believe that was the year 1681 when that term white people became official, man, you know. But it was through his own, it was, it was based off what he felt his he should be called, you know. It says in that word white, that pretty much goes into purity, you know, clean, you know, uh, holy, you know. That's the name that he put upon himself, which ultimately he's, he's, he's really a black man. The re, he, he saw as the real black man, you know, which means filthy, uh, uh, unclean, defiled. That's this nigga, man. It says, uh, there's a generation that are pure in their own eyes, and yet is not washed from their filthiness. And that was part of that filthiness right there, just that clip. You making a parody of thanking the slaves for building these certain monuments, man. Thanking the slaves for building America, which we know everything, uh, you know, pretty much all these other nations, every time they came into power, it, it was pretty much, they all of them had uh, the Israelites as a gesture. It wasn't no superpower where uh, either Israel was on top, by the way, or, you know, uh, King David, Solomon, or they was in suggestion under these um, other nations, man. You know, it wasn't going to be no other nation that was going to prosper unless they was, um, unless we was uh, subject unto them, man. How you think Egypt became uh, a, a, a superpower, man? Um, uh, these other nations, it, it, well, especially here in America, man. You know, but these the same niggas, man. It, it wasn't like nothing changed. As time went on, they even got worse, man. You know, matter of fact, let's get, let's get this book of Revelation 12 and, and verse 9. And it reads, And the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent called the devil and Satan. See? So as you can see, it, at this point, in this verse, he was the great dragon. But, you know, that was pretty much the height or the climax of that nigga, man. He grew. And he, he grew. It was a process. And he was just that scrawny serpent. In Genesis, and then he morphed and grew into this great dragon with seven heads and ten horns, man. So as you can see, that rust process, the, the weakness, it got worse over time. He was just that serpent that just told a lie, you know. At first, now he's now this nigga is um is ruining the planet Earth, man. You know, it, through wickedness. You know, but he's that he's that old servant. Meaning what? This is the same nigga, man. It haven't changed. Called the devil and say, see, so you see this nigga come on all these different uh, uh, names. The devil mean which is the deceiver, Satan, which is the adversary. You know, it said which deceived the whole world, and he was cast out into the earth, and his angels was cast out with him. See. So that's ultimately what's going to happen to this man. He's pretty much going to be cast out, and it's going to be a violent overthrow. Because that's how he came out, came up. That's how he's going to be taken out, man. You know? But just going back, this is that old serpent. Meaning, what? He was, he's never going to be rehabilitated. He will always be your enemy. And as you can see, this nigga is, uh, you know, he benefited off our downfall. You ain't take that away. You ain't like you can um, sidestep that or say, give it another reason why. No, this man benefited off our downfall, man. And the best thing he come up with was a 30-second song saying, thank you, man. So, matter of fact, let's get to this book of Baruch 4. And um, let's see. This is the book of Baruch 4. Yeah, this is the book. Uh, let's see. Yep, this is Baruch 4, and I started at 31. It said, Miserable are they that afflicted thee, 
and rejoice that thy fall. See? See, it's going to get to the point for which we are already in that process now. Misery is taking over the planet Earth. The spirit of misery, man. You know, which ultimately is is is, is already hitting the elites. You know, but it's ultimately going to consume the planet Earth and just, just the regular Joe Sixpack is going is, 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 he's feeling it, man. But it's going to get to a point where that, that process is going to intensify to the max, man. Why? Because they rejoice. They rejoice that I fall. So now, the the the, the opposite of rejoicing is, is miserable, misery, mourning. You know, it says, "Miserable are the cities that thy children serve." See, which is America. That's another buzzword for uh, America because America is known for their cities. See, you don't come to America to go to Alabama. You know, the, you you want drone, you want drone coming to America because you, you want to go to uh, Dakota. No, it was these certain cities you was you was drawn by New York or L.A. or Chicago. You was drawn to these certain cities, man. You know, but it's gonna get to the point. These cities, which is America, is gonna be gonna be miserable. It said, "Miserable is she that received our son." See. So the, the ones that afflicted us, they're going to be afflicted, in which we're in the beginning stages of that now. It says, For as she re rejoiced at thy ruin and was glad of thy fall, see? And that's, that's what they uh, it said. They sent gifts one to another. Oh, you had back then where they was, um, you had the gator bait. You got certain, um, what you call it, uh, souvenirs of pretty much Jake Hangins, a uh, gator bait, a uh, nigga ball. They were rejoicing. You got po you got postcards of hangings. You know. They they pretty much was rejoicing at our fall, man. They was glad at our fall. It says, for as she rejoiced at thy ruin, and was glad of thy fall, so shall she be grieved for her own desolation, which we hear now, man. It says, for I will take away the rejoicing of her multi of her great multitude. See. So that's why it, you don't hear the the faint sound of a damn people laughing at a bar no more. A uh, motherfucker screaming on a roller coaster. All that's being taken away, man. This is that 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 slow and, and painful process of the death of America, man, that the Lord is, is, is bringing upon this place, man. Cause it tells that he's he's he uh he rebuked kings for our sakes, man. Cause you touch the jewels of the Lord. Now you're going to have to be touched, which we're in that process now. It says, um, For I will take away the rejoicing of her great multitude, and her pride shall be turned into mourning. See? Because these, these devils, they take pride in America. Which means, well, when you say you're proud to be an American, that means you're proud to be a murderer. You're proud to be a, a, a thief, a liar. Because that's how the so called white man got into power. You know? And this man take light that he pretty much destroyed the planet Earth. And this nigga say, well, we did create the uh, the microwave from crazy shit. You no, know, this devil trying to balance, trying to justify his destruction. You know, but it's going to get to the point this nigga is going to be overthrown in a violent manner, which we hear, man. But just to further prove that this, this nigga is your enemy, man, on all levels, man. And will always be, will be, you know. But it's going to get to a point where... Judgment is about to rain down in a major way. So yeah, I can just hold it with edify. I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Rachak, Rudash. I like to give double honors to the pots and elders of Great Millstone. I like to say Shalom to the elect. It's teaching his word in our true faith and sincerity. DTA, a Bible ball. Soon.